Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sturge here and Tara back on the channel 12. We got a bunch of upgrades that I want to get going as we have four out of the five builders available. And I will be showing you the upgrade party guide that you can use for your laboratory at tunnel 12. Now, assuming you were following my tunnel 12 upgrade priority guide, you should have upgraded the laboratory up to its next level. So we're heading here and talk about what to upgrade for elixir troops. We have a lot of them here. And we also have the Yeti, which you will unlock pretty soon here on the Tunnel 12. But it is just a personal preference of what you actually want to upgrade. I Me mean, personally, for farming armies with the removal of the army cost, I will just stick to my hybrid. I basically use that for farming, war, and trophy pushing. So I will upgrade the miners up to level 6 and also the war breakers up to level 8, as well as the sneaky goblins. They get a new level, the regular goblins up to level 8, which also convert over to the sneaky goblins. So they both get a new level to deal a lot more damage to those collectors and storages. So upgrading those three troops I will be doing right away. A couple more troops I will be upgrading are the Barbarians and the Archers just to have an extra level on the ability of Archers and Barbarians you get from the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. But you can really upgrade any of these troops. It is just a personal preference of what you want to upgrade for farming at Town Hall 12. Moving on to the spell, we don't have too many of them. We have about six or seven of them that bat spell there also gets a new level i will personally be upgrading the raid spell and that free spell up to their next level which goes along with that hybrid maybe even that poison spell for the enemy clan castles if i go up against any of those the uh, icu witch bat attack strategy at tunnel 12 or 11 is pretty good so maybe even tunnel 12 is even better with the huge amount of bats you get from the level five bat spell. So that is also a pretty high priority in my list, just seeing that upgrade uh, there. So I will be upgrading those three or four spells personally, but you can just upgrade whatever spell you want that goes along with your army. Now the dark troops are pretty obvious of what I will want to upgrade. Maybe the witches, the hogs, they have two levels of hog rider at town level 12. So we'll be upgrading both of those, probably even today to get those maxed out because I will be using a hybrid army later on in the video. The Ice Golem up to their next level, and that is basically it. The Bowler is probably also pretty good at Town Hall 12, so we'll probably get in that eventually. But all these uh, Dark Troops are pretty good. Kind of what I said about the other two sections of this guide, it's just upgrade what you use for farming and for war. So Hog Riders, Ice Golems, and Witches are my picks for this Dark Troops. And the final bit, is the siege machines we only unlocked three at tunnel 12 the wall wrecker the uh, battle blimp and the stone slammer i don't have the other two unlocked just yet but i will get them up to their next level eventually uh, you don't really need to upgrade these since you can just donate them to yourself through the raid medals so there isn't really a big priority on getting these siege machines up immediately but if you like to donate to people you could unlock them up to the at least level two to donate the max level to your clan mates and that is basically it for the upgrade guide for Town Hall 12. We will head on and do a bunch of upgrades inside the laboratory as well as the builders, getting all four of those used there. But before we do that, we're gonna head on to do one attack with my hybrid army that I was talking about throughout that lab upgrade guide. Here it is. I will have a link to it in the description if you do want to use it. I don't have the extra 20 housing spaces just yet, but if you do have it and want to use this army, you could add some more hogs or miners to the army camps there. So let's head on to our attack to get a bunch of loot from the star bonus so we can spend it around the base. And here we go, we found our base for today. It's almost 900,000 of each, and only 6,000 dark elixir, but it's still a decent amount of loot. We're gonna go from the left side to start off with our hybrid to take down this eagle artillery. And we'll drop the healers there. We only have four of them because we have the recall spell, so we will pick up all of that at uh, the end of this side of the funnel. Grady with the rage spell, I guess, it is she's going back up in health, so I guess we are flying there. We'll let her work over towards the enemy queen, dropping a rage here to take our uh, queen back up to full health and taking down the enemy queen there. She may even lure out the king unless she goes all the way to the right. It looks like she is going to the right. Uh, we're gonna go from the very bottom here with our main push and we'll drop the queen over here on the right side. We will drop our uh, recall spell here in a couple of seconds once we take down this mortar here. We'll drop that there. I could have actually waited a little bit as the queen went out of range of that single inferno tower, but we'll drop the queen over here on the right side and she'll create the other side of that funnel. 
Uh, we have a big bunch of buildings over here. So I guess we will drop a baby dragon towards the bottom here. The king on this camp and getting ready with our hybrid towards the bottom. Once the king takes down this collector, which are our uh, miners to start off with the warden and the log launcher. And once all these collectors go down, I will drop the rest of our hogs to head into the base with our heal spell through that multi inferno tower. I did forget about the queen over on the right side, getting the rage down and a freeze on that town hall and get ready with that warren ability. If we have uh, in range of that there, we'll drop the warden ability now through that bomb of the town hall and a heal through the back end as the warren ability wears off. We have a freeze, which I will drop on this multi inferno tower just to hopefully take it down. We have the king gonna have to use his ability as it is targeted onto that left inferno tower. And he's still locked into that wall as it is getting taken down by that inferno tower, but it does loop all the way back up to the top of the base. We have our wall breakers, which I didn't really use throughout the entirety of the attack. We'll use towards the top of the base and drop in our cleanup troops and getting this three star on this tunnel 12. It was almost maxed. They had all of their walls maxed, probably from the hammer jam we had a couple of months ago. And now they're just kind of stuck on upgrading a bunch of defenses, which I don't want to do. I don't want to get all of my walls maxed as soon as possible, because then I will be stuck on gold and elixir for a few months as they max out the rest of the defenses but we'll get the three star on this one here and get the star bonus once we head back to the base after taking down its barbarian altar i am only getting 11 trophies i want to stay up here in titan league until probably around when the four times bonus runs out but 4.2 million gold elixir and 21,000 dark elixir from that there not too bad we're up to 5 million but if we head over to our treasury and collect this we have a ton more loot filling up our gold storages so we can upgrade some more defenses and more uh, army buildings around the base i want to start the upgrades off inside of the laboratory so we head in here and go all the way over to the rate spell which is our first upgrade at town hall 12 at 6.16 million elixir in almost a seven day time we'll get that going there and use a book of spells on this one here to get that finished off to its max level inside of the entire game at max level six very good there we have three million elixir and we don't really have a different way of getting loot and unless i can go out and do more attacks but i don't really want to do that so i will head over to the trader here and buy a couple more gold or elixir we'll head in and do two more there and go back over to our lab and upgrade the next thing which is the miner up to level six 5.2 million elixir in a seven day time we'll get that going there and using a book of fighting on this here we have a bunch of books inside of the past which i will use as well throughout the next little bit here back up to back down to 2.9 million elixir uh, i think we need about 4 million more so we'll head into the league shop this time we have a bunch of league medals we have 1700 still that we have to get uh, spending eventually here we'll head back in and upgrade the free spell up to max level we'll upgrade this for another 6.16 million elixir in a six day time we don't have a book right now but if we head over into the past we can head over here and we'll actually collect that book of fighting as well and the book of spells and using that on this free spell finishing off and skipping the six days there we have a couple more upgrades inside the lab before we upgrade the last four things on uh the base for uh, builders and we'll head into the leak shop once again and purchase the book uh, the hammer of fighting there there and we'll head back into the lab and get ready to upgrade the hog riders up to max level the first one here up to level eight at eighty four thousand dark elixir and six day upgrade time we'll get that book going on that and we'll use the hammer getting this up to level nine skipping seven almost eight days of upgrade times so we got a lot of uh, lab work done today on the village uh, actually we have one more upgrade that i want to get going just so we can let the lab run we'll head into the league shop buy one more little bit of elixir and upgrade the barbarians up to level nine five days 14 hours and a 4.4 million elixir time we'll let that run and also using uh we'll use about three or four of these uh, we'll use all of them actually all six how many of these do i have i don't even know uh, we have one more, so I guess we'll use one more of these on there, getting seven hours. So we'll have to upgrade something else, probably Dark Elixir 
inside of the lab in about six or seven hours, which I will do off camera, maybe even in the next episode. But now we have the lab going. We're gonna head on and do a few more upgrades before we end off the video, starting with the Inferno Tower going up to level two at two million gold and a two and a half day time of upgrade time there. We still have eight million gold and I wanna get something else going around the base. And I almost forgot the most important upgrade to get going so far is the town hall up to level three at 3.36 million gold and another two a day time there. I will probably use another book or not book, a uh, builder potions on this towards the end once we get all of the builders going. And we'll head over to the walls here and get a couple more of these going up to the max level and then head up to where's the storages over here and we'll use a rune of elixir i don't have these upgraded so i am wasting probably about four million elixir i could have gotten those uh up to their max level but we'll be upgrading one more of these army camps up to level 10 at 5 million elixir and at almost eight day time once again we still have 82,000 dark elixir which isn't enough just yet to get the queen up to its next level but if we head over to the trader we'll buy one more bit of dark elixir we don't have enough just yet and i don't really think i needed to go to the trader because we have 30,000 here so we have enough to upgrade the queen for the final upgrade of the day at 114,000 dark elixir and a five day time there we're well, very good we got a bunch of upgrades going around the base for today we'll head into the leak shop and buy uh, about four of these builder potions and use it on these five builders to get more stuff going in the next episode which should be pretty soon hopefully you enjoyed today's video and if you did want to see some more tunnel 12 content make sure to subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out